Iowa House of Representatives Chamber, located on the second floor of the Capitol, was dedicated in 1884. In 1882, E.S. Marigoli contracted with the Capitol Commission for painting and decorating the ceiling and walls of the house for $3,500. The ceiling was decorated with portraits of Presidents Washington and Lincoln, Governors Robert Lucas and James W. Grimes, Justices of the Supreme Court, Speakers of the House, and Civil War Generals. On January 4, 1904, during the process of conversion to electric lights, a worker left a candle burning, igniting a massive fire in the Capitol. It started in an air shaft in committee room five on the same floor as the House of Representatives. By the time the fire was discovered, the air shaft was a mass of flames. And within a few hours, it had reached the south end of the attic above the chamber and the partition leading to the library. Most of the movable furniture in the house was removed. Skylights and chandeliers crashed to the floor. Extensive damage was done to the house chamber during the 1904 fire. Originally decorated in a manner similar to the Senate, the decorations and chandeliers were destroyed. After the fire, the entire ceiling, stained glass and chandeliers had to be replaced. Water also damaged the lower floors in the North Wing, including the Supreme Court chambers. Fortunately, much of the original marble and beautiful woodwork are still in place in the house chamber. However, the artwork on the chamber ceiling is not original, but was created in 1905 by Elmer Garnsey. Elmer Garnsey was the artist hired by the Capital Improvement Commission to decorate the public areas of the building. Therefore, he seemed the logical candidate to be given the additional responsibilities of redecorating the areas damaged by the fire. Garnsey had a very different vision for the decoration, which is why the house chamber, the old Supreme Court room, and the old agriculture offices directly below the House of Representatives have a design that is very different from the areas of the building untouched by the fire. Elmer Garnsey of New York City was the artist and general director of color and decoration for much of the painting in the Iowa Capitol during the 1902 to 1908 phase of decorating. Born in 1862 in New Jersey, Elmer Garnsey was a painter. He attended Copper Union and Art Students League in New York. Garnsey studied with and became the assistant of George Maynard and Francis Lanthrope. His work can be seen in the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C., as well as many universities and state capitals. In December of 1904, Garnsey was paid $10,000 for painting the walls and ceilings of the present House of Representatives. The House of Representatives measures 74 feet wide and more than 91 feet long with the 46 foot high ceiling. The wood finish is black walnut and marble wainscoting covers the lower part of the walls. Garnsey's 1904 contract stated that the ceiling beams and entablature were to be painted in ivory and grays and the ceiling panels were to be in tones of buff. The central group of panels of the ceiling were to be enriched with color and ornament with a wreath in each panel bearing emblems or devices and a border around each panel in color and gold. The columns and ornamental moldings were to be gilded. Scagliola was very popular for interior finish in public buildings in France and Italy and was introduced in this country in the 19th century. Made to resemble real stone, the House of Representatives columns are American scagliola. These were such remarkably deceptive imitations of marble that workmen removing columns during the remodeling of the House of Representatives in the late 1960s were surprised to find that they were not marble, but instead were scagliola and hollow. 
The chandeliers are made of Czechoslovakian crystal and weigh about 800 pounds each. Each one has 5,440 crystals. The All Word Glass Company of Des Moines provided the skylight for $350 because they furnished the lowest bid. It was designed by Elmer Garnsey and constructed from amber opalescent glass. Around the center skylight in the House of Representatives, there are four designs symbolizing progress, knowledge, agriculture, and industry. Within each design, the details, often unnoticed, reinforce the symbolism. In the northeast corner, industry is symbolized by a cog and locomotive governor, which regulates speed on a steam engine. The southeast corner illustrates agriculture with the sickle, wheat sheave, corn stalks, and an oxen yoke. In the southwest corner, a locomotive, Caduceus, symbol of commerce, and telephone or telegraph lines are symbols of progress. Knowledge is on the northwest corner, illustrated by a book, torch of knowledge, a compass for math, and a quill pen. Each Iowa citizen has one state senator and one state representative to represent them at the state level of government. These elected officials are members of the Iowa General Assembly, which meets annually at the state capitol on the second Monday in January. There are 100 legislators in the House of Representatives that work in this chamber and are responsible for the laws in Iowa. Each legislator's desk is equipped with a voting panel that displays their vote onto an electronic voting board. Electronic voting was originally installed in the House of Representatives chamber in 1909 and most recently updated in 2018. During the legislative session, visitors galleries are open to the public the visitors galleries are provided for the public to come and watch their representatives and state government at work. We invite you to visit the Iowa State Capitol and view the beautiful chamber of the House of Representatives.